Yo, what up? This is your boy Faith of Sam here with another take of tap 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 I only have one question for y'all. What's your zodiac sign? Hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to another take of Tap In. And I'm here, your humble host. Oh, crap. That's JD. That's <laughs> <laughs> we miss, we miss you, JD. We miss you. JD, we miss you, bro. We miss you, JD. Miss you, JD. We miss you, JD. Can't wait for you to come back. Clearly but I'm your boy, Faith of Sam, and I'm here chilling with the crew, as usual. What's up, y'all? Hello, hello. This is your beautiful girl, Evie. Oh, Evie. She's beautiful, too, now. It's not hey, just Evie. She upgrade on this yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello, hello. It's Davi. Davi. Man, what to do, you switch your boy Kelly? We back here with another video, man. It's your boy Breezy, boy. We back here. What to do, man? Shout out to, to all my supporters out there. Shout out to everybody who, who voted me as their favorite, favorite and their I number one. I haven't even put the poll up yet. It don't even matter. I already see it. I already see it. I you can predict. You can predict. Uh, exactly. Number one. I love y'all boys too, man. I wonder what sign is Caleb. This, this <laughs> Based on that, what? Based on the oh. the energy the and everything. The energy. Shoot. Well, according to Google, I'm all types of things. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, man. I guess y'all can already tell by my reaction. I ain't with all that. But I guess um my Zodiac sign, since we're going to talk about Zodiac signs, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about Zodiac signs. My Zodiac sign is a, it's a Taurus. Mm. I'm a That's Taurus. It? A Taurus? Yeah. I mean, like, I can't. Every time, like, I meet somebody and they're like, you know, what's your zodiac sign? Job. <laughs> Period. Look, I've Stop. never been interested in, you know, knowing my zodiac sign and what it stands for. Really? No. So you don't know ever. Let's look at it. They me. tell me all the time. Oh, you're right. You're right. I know. A Apparently, like, there's a there's like a two parts in the June. Sh- yeah. So if you're oh. born early in June, you're I'm not gonna Gemini. tell you on my birthday. The other one. Is <laughs> Right. I do know him. Right. Know so, him. like, and you know the thing about zodiac sign, if you into it and you read into it, it it might trick you to believe, you know, what they actually describe you as. Hmm. You know, it, it really might mm-hmm. because it, it it targets like personalities. Yeah. Right. And we carry some traits, right, that that reflects, you know, those this, you know, zodiac sign yep. descriptions. Mm-hmm. But um, do you guys believe as Christians uh, we should believe in zodiac? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like, Jesus, that was very <laughs> no. It, it's a strong no. It's, no. It, it it's is a strong no. It's a one hundred percent no. I'm no. clear on that. We ain't even gonna try to. Eat. No. <laughs> no. But what's your explanation for for the no? Job, man. Besides, besides yeah, job. besides job. <laughs> shout out to my American folks. Job means um, devil. Yeah, <laughs> demon, <laughs> bad spirit, evil, evil spirit. That's what job means. Job yeah. is evil spirit, cruel. But um, yeah. Nah, man, that man, that drug is evil, man. No, the Bible says it, man. I mean, when you understand, like they, when they tell you, like the whole. A Taurus means this, or Gemini means this, or you're t- you're this you're you're this type of person. This is your trait, or whatever. It's like I don't know. Like it's just it, it don't it don't it. It's a whole bunch. You of have problems. no explanation. It, me. it just throws me, man. Like, cause mind you, think about it. Like they're talking about like characteristics of of a person, like of a, a person of a person that was born in a specific month or in a spe- specific time frame. Mm-hmm. Like I have yet to see a meaning. Of like some some tor- uh, uh, some um somebody who was born in June or whatever like that, the, the meaning of their of their zodiac sign is something bad, or it's something like uh like it's always something good like oh this person seems to be patient or this this person seems to be all just outspoken and this is the, and I'm just like that can literally be anyone it, like it can and mind you it especially can. like how how humans change too mm-hmm. like I could be a person like for example. I could be a person that's like very outspoken or very like exuberant, very like joyful or whatever like that. And then say something happens and all of a sudden like now I'm a person that's just very like low key. I'm just chill. I just grew up, you know, something happened. I'm just chill. And I'm not I'm not that joyful as I used to be. 
am I not a Taurus anymore? Like, no. if I, am I not a Gemini anymore? Or whatever, like this. I don't no, think no, no, that's no. Like, it what? changed because because one of the planets, you know, it's in it's in retrograde or something. Whoa, there's more. To what was about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, get, get into it. Yes, yes, Devin. Can you give us a little? Give us a little it seems background. Like you know a lot about the zodiac signs. I really don't. I'd be on TikTok and I'd, I'd be seeing <laughs> really? TikTok. TikTok just be trying to jokes. teach everybody what it is. But about. yeah, it's like there's like sun and moon signs, and then like your 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 Venus and Mercury and Saturn and all oh. the planets. I don't know. If you water, fire, something like that. I yeah. think, right. That part oh, I know, the- like, okay, because it's like there's there's 12 signs and then four, like, groups. Like, air, water, fire, and earth. Because we avatars now. What? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't even know what we... Man. But, but the thing in people... Job. <laughs> but people, Job. people do believe in that. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, because I don't know much about it, but sometimes when I scroll down on social media, I be looking and they be like, you know, if you design, it means you, you like, you're very passionate. I'm like, hold up. Let me read more into it. Are you talking about me? And you know what I mean? And of course, there's bad things about it too, because sometimes it's like, if you are uh, a scorpion, if you're a Gemini, I'd be like, well, scorpion, I this way and it's not me. I act better than them. You know let what me I mean? look up the bad things about myself. <laughs> You see, see but the reason why I would say no, it's because when I thought about it, it's just like if I'm focused so much on a sign, it's like I'm not even here. Like I don't exist. What what happened to me individually as a person myself? Like it's not it's not even Evie anymore. Like I am grouped with a lot of people, and it's just like oh, a group of people is like a sign. It's based on a sign. Like what happened to me being me? <laughs> They're taking away one, the right, one like, thing that be killing me is the whole like like. I be seeing like on social media, like when they be like doing like those are like trying to match people up with specific people, like you know dating or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. And be like you know what they ask what's your sign, and mind you, before they ask you, it's not like they could tell you a whole bunch of good things. They be so interested. Oh yeah, yeah, whatever. That's nice. That's nice. You're good. And they ask you your zodiac sign, and you say something, and then. What happened to all the good things I just told you? Like now, all of a sudden, I'm a. It's like based on your sign, they can tell who you are. Job, that's what. But I, I think, I think there lies the problem, right? Mm -hmm. Because we are grouping people, Mm -hmm. right, in a category, Mm -hmm. saying that you belong to this sign and you belong to that sign. Uh, We are not, you know, approaching people for who they are. Uh, if you read the Bible as Christians, man, to any Christian that's listening out there, I know we're having fun and everything, um, but Psalm 39 describe who you are, right? And, and it says that um, in Psalm 39, I believe verse 13, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, we'll pull it up. We're going to pull, pull it up. up. <laughs> pull it up. Yeah. Psalm 139, verse 13. 139? Um, 139, yes. 139, verse 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was right. Uh, for you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's room. Like, so that means that God individually stitched us together. Can, can, like, you, you understand that? Mm-hmm. So I am unique. Like, if you read the whole psalm, like, you are unique, you know, for who you are. Mm-hmm. And you're not defined by a sign, right? You're not defined by a category. Mm-hmm. You're not defined by a character, right? God created you. Like, and, and, and when he created you, he said every inch in you, he created, like he knows you. Mm-hmm. Um, and the good thing, like the, the beautiful thing about, you know, us as human is that not one human is the same. True. Yeah. Like think about DNA in that sense. Mm-hmm. Not one fingerprint is the same. Not one. So God as a creator, it is, he's so vast, you know, and, and he's creative you know, mind that we would never be able to comprehend, you know, the power of God in that sense. Uh, So what the Zodiac signs do, uh, does, you know, to me, um, I'm not sure how anybody is going to feel about it, is that it it takes away your your uniqueness. It takes away the person that you are Mm -hmm. and it places you in a group of people, right? right? To where you have to, oh, we think alike. You know, yeah, like, yeah, we might have similarities and whatnot, but, but we're not the same. I am who I am. And God created me to be a whole different human being than you are. Yeah. That's what makes so, it like, work. Shouldn't have you. Okay. That's what makes it work. Like, if you think about the human relation, it's because of my differences and because of our uh, similarities that 
you know, we do get along, that we, we do click. And it has nothing to do with signs, you know what I mean? To say mm. that I click with Caleb only because he's a Zodiac. He's uh, a tourist. I, I'm, he got a, the energy. I'm a Spices. <laughs> and, you know, the Sadducees, the Pharisees. <laughs> you know? like, like, you know, and I can't stand it when people meet you and they find a good quality about you. And then the next question they ask you is, what's, what's your sign? Zodiac sign? <laughs> sign? sign? There has to be something about you, right? That connect the, the, the universe. And then, <laughs> you know, like, connects us. No, don't let it be one of those people who's really into it. They gonna ask Ooh. you what what time of day you, you were, were born. born. That's a lie. Yeah, I don't even know that. Right? <laughs> I was born this day, May ten. That's what I was born. <laughs> I don't know when May ten. That's my birthday, man. That's that's it. And I'm man. Yeah, it, it's 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 hard. Mm-hmm. But do you guys? I'm gonna go back to the question as mm-hmm. Christians because. There is a lot of Christians, you know, that mm-hmm. that do believe in zodiac signs and everything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, they believe in the curse of the zodiac signs. There's a curse. Yeah. So if you get with, you know, uh, uh, an opposite zodiac sign that well, does not, that's not <clears throat> compatible, compatible I didn't know that. The relationship will <laughs> not <a> work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That the just makes it even more of a job. <laughs> the, the relationship will not work. Or if you end up marrying that person, is the marriage will not work. If it's a friendship, then the friendship will not work. You know, I, like, do you guys believe that? I think I like. I never like was one of the people who's like I need to check my horoscope every morning to see what the universe says about my what day. Me? I was never like that, but like. You know, like it was, it was cute. It was, it's cool just being like looking, and it's like you're gonna have a good day. I was like, okay, period. Like, yeah, because I'm a Leo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because you're Leo. <laughs> Maybe I gotta search this up, but like, what is what exactly is a horoscope? Like, what? I don't. Know. I think it's that? just like, um, to my knowledge, it's like a little overview forecast for you as a person, depending on your horoscope. I mean, your zodiac. I think. Don't add me on that. I really don't know. It is. It's like a man. Shout out to anybody who really like do all that research on like the whole zodiac. Let us know like in the comments or text us person sure. or, yes. on the, on the tap in Instagram. Oh, sure. Let us know because help your boy out, man. Because I don't know, man. We don't want to be sounding arrogant. I'm lost. Exactly. Like, I don't want to sound arrogant. Like it's all funny games, but at this, in all seriousness, like I only know what the Bible, of course, says about it and what mm-hmm. I feel about it and what's. And what's being portrayed on social media? Mm-hmm. A lot of things that we all we all know today, be uh, whether it has to do with zodiac or anything, usually is taught to us either TikTok by how, University. TikTok, exactly TikTok University, you feel me? Facebook. Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> you feel me? YouTube. So it's like anybody who really done that research, let us know. Let me know, like, cause for what I know off the word and what I know and what I've experienced off of people and what I see off of social media, it really don't seem like. Like, I question why so many people on top of that. Like, why so many people so into that? You I don't know? know, man. Like, like I'll give you an experience I had this week. Mm-hmm. And I, I think, you know, this particular person, I, I, I think she watched the podcast. Um, but this week I showed up somewhere. And, you know, I, I usually wear, you know, these the, the bracelets. Mm-hmm. Like, like the one you have on right now, the beats. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I had one on. And she was like, oh, uh, this stone means this and this stone means that. And um, <laughs> I threw it away, bro. I threw it away. <laughs> I threw it away because with me, is it's a fashion statement. For real, I just yeah. try to... Right? That's the all fit. it was. That's all it was. But the, the reason why I threw it away is, you know, my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. So if somebody approaches me and tells me, you know, do you know the meaning of this and you know, maybe they have in-depth knowledge of it, you know, and not that I don't believe, I, I don't, I don't believe in none of it, yeah. right? But just by her pointing it out, man, it made me feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. So I, I threw it away. I threw yeah. it away. And uh, <laughs> the same person, I remember one time, you know, uh, I approached the person trying to shake their hand and I touched their beats and like, oh, I got to go home and wash it, you know, because... You know, it's my good vibe, good energy, this and that. So there's a whole lot of things it's that we lot. practice yeah. out there that are I um, think uh, like. 
It's witchcraft. <laughs> Job. <laughs> you think, Job. But you know, you said something and I was thinking, because I, I feel like some people out there, when they think of the sign, it's just like, you know, it's cute. Like yeah. if somebody said, I'm a Leo, I'm this, like, it's just nice. They don't go in depth mm-hmm. to be like, okay, if I go in depth about it, like why I should do this, why I should say it and why I'm not, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think I, I was thinking, because I was like, maybe there's like, if we go in depth, there's like a spiritual thing there behind is. it and no way there because is. a lot of people don't know that a lot of people is it's most likely oh if i'm just gonna i'm just it's gonna just go with fun. the trend you know what yeah. i mean yeah. like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just this is my sign you know my sign yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. move on in a way you know what i mean so then i was thinking because it's like then if i'm like if there's something spiritual about the signs it's just why would why would there be something spiritual about it? it's either to either keep us away from god purpose for us in a way because a lot of people because of their sign is like okay but if i'm this sign oh now their life is mostly focused on the sign so it's like they are away from god's voice it's like okay mm-hmm. like what does god want for me not for me and davina together yeah. so you know what i mean maybe like with the sign it's more like okay together i can do this i can do that because i'm because i'm a scorpion i have to wake up at 6 a.m in the morning or i have to do this more like okay if i'm working you know in God's voice, what is it God want for me? I think maybe it, it keep people from like staying in the Word in a way. That's what I was thinking. You you, you can't say that. So let let's read let's read um, Isaiah forty seven mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, verse thirteen, 13 again. Okay. Um, before that, really quickly though, I kind of I agree with you, and I think humans like just people we want like meaning like we want something to we want a reason for everything you know yeah so it's like i feel like if you're waking up and you're checking your horoscope or you're checking whatever then it's a way for you to give your life meaning and to follow something greater without the actual responsibility and accountability that it takes to be a christian it's like because if you follow God, it's a lot of work. You know, like you need to actively make it's an effort. It's a lot of restrictions. But if you just wake up, you're like, oh, I'm a Leo, so. Like, I, yeah. The reason why I, I, I argue with you, because they always mm-hmm. have, like, the reason why I'm loud, the reason why I cursed, uh, you know That's what I mean? That's why I have a problem with it. It's an excuse for bad behavior. I. I'm because this person. Sometimes be- I act yes. like this because I'm. I'm this. Because I'm this. Like bro, the reason why I cheat. Yeah. You know the reason why I cheat is because I'm this sign. I don't know how to. You know what I mean? There's a yeah. lot. You're that. You you cheat because you're. You don't know how to stay faithful. Like just take some accountability. People be trying to find all types of way to lose. It. Man, let's get to the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me but, read. Um, read. Yeah. All right. Okay. Isaiah 47, verse 13. Yes. Starting, yeah, go crazy. All the advice you receive has made you tired. Where are all your ast- astrologers, those stargazers that who make predictions each month? Let them stand up and save you from what the future holds. Just just 13 or 14 too? Keep going, keep going. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, 14. 14, 14 tell you what so it is. So far, so good. <laughs> but they are like straw burning in a fire that they cannot save themselves from the flame. You will get no help from them at all. Their heart is no place to sit for warmth. And all your friends, those who with whom you've done business since childhood, will go on their own ways, turning a deaf ear to your cries. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what the the Bible does, man? They be coming for people, dog. <laughs> Yo, they be coming for people. I, I, not, I see y'all. why some people don't read the Bible. For real. I don't right? blame you. Because <laughs> if you're not convicted by those words, Man. like something is wrong because it's clear, bro. Yeah. If you can't predict the future, if you could manipulate, you know, uh, uh, your everyday environment, mm-hmm. your life will be perfect. Your life will be without any problems. You know, you will be without flaws. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and, because if you follow your zodiac sign, mm-hmm. you know whatever, um, you you should be prosperous. Mm-hmm. You should, right? However, comma, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. At all. Right here, I am believing in in God that gives hope. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I'm holding on to. Hope. Like I don't have to do anything for it. Right. Salvation is free of charge. Right. I don't have to work towards it. Like, I don't know those people that believe that you work towards salvation. You religious people. <laughs> like, it is what it Pharisees. is. Pharisees. I didn't work for it. It was freely give. I didn't have to do anything for it. You know, I just have, you know, commands to follow. Mm-hmm. Right. And and that, that that's it. I mean, 
one thing I want I want to like point out like like the power of, of of you know a practice you know and the power of your of your mind like if you make something a practice or you and you do it over and over and over it's like you become so devoted to it mm-hmm. to the point where like you won't spend a day without thinking about that certain thing. So like in the aspect of Zodiac signs, like say with the horoscope thing, like, mm-hmm. so for what I'm understanding, it's like people read it in early in the morning before they wake up to see how they day about the cool like. They or, read it before they wake up? Kind of? I mean, I mean, <laughs> they read it after <laughs> they, they wake up. It's, exactly it's, it's, it's the wine. <laughs> it's the wine. I'm sorry. It's the wine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm chill. All right, but brutal, like, like, um, People, people have to understand that, like, so if, like, you say you wake up in the morning and then you read day after day after day this horoscope, mm-hmm. at the, like, at some point, you're going to get to the point where, like, every every decision that you make or every event that you get into your life, you're always going to think about that horoscope. Yeah. Why? Because you make that a practice to keep reading it over and over and over and over again. So people got to understand the, 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 the power of, of practices and the power of your mind when you keep mm-hmm. training it to do something. So it was like, for example, for those as, as like Christians, um, the power of reading your word every single day is so you can go a day without thinking about God, without thinking about what exactly did he want? What exactly is his plan for me for this day real quick? Like what, before before I make a decision, you will always think about God, this, God, that, because you make that a practice to keep reading your word mm-hmm. over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. So it's like this can go into anything. The more you keep practicing something, it's the the more you will start to behave like it. The more you will start to make decisions with it. So it's like with the whole zodiac things. Like, uh, um, the Bible is clear that um that it is witchcraft. You know, it, it's witchcraft. So the more that you practice witchcraft over and over and over again, you will soon start to devote yourself to witchcraft without you even knowing it. Yeah, because whatever you feed the mind. Is who you become. That, exactly. Yeah. People yeah. got to understand that. Uh, I was a person that I didn't believe, you know, spirits wasn't really in everything. Me either. But if you well, really. What is it? What is it now? Say it again. Like spirits wasn't in everything. Like, or like, they're not like, I didn't think like, like, for example, if somebody were to act, you know, dumb or whatever, act bad or, or just something bad. I wouldn't say, oh, it's a and spirit. And associate a spirit. Yeah. I wouldn't that. say it's a spirit. Yeah. It's a, you just, you, you just, just acting act dumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People will say spirit, this job, this job, that. And I would think that people, because people just lack accountability. But as you read in the words, sometimes like you will start to realize that your behaviors sometimes do come from a spirit. Yeah. Yes. You know, sure. I remember when, um, I forgot who was that to talk to Jesus, but when Jesus was saying something about his purpose about dying, then one of the disciples came to him and was like, "No, I refuse. I won't. I, I won't let it go through." Whatever, like that, something like that. And then he said, "Get I behind think, me." I think it was Peter. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it was Peter. And then he said, it's "Get behind always, me, Satan." It's, it's, it's always, always Peter. Peter got. <laughs> <laughs> he was always hey, Peter. Man. He was the closest one to <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, but Jesus, got, Jesus did rebuke. Jesus' response was, "Get behind me, Satan." Mind you, that's Peter talking. But so it, it was like, not. But just to clarify, it was not Peter talking though. It was because mm-hmm. I remember the verse that says, "The spirit that's in Peter don't." Because it was, it says the spirit that's in Peter. Because I'm saying this, yeah, <laughs> which is the reason why Jesus said, "Get behind, behind me." me. You know exactly. It, it was a it was. So yeah, spirit. You know. So understanding that, um, there is spirits and things. There is there is spirits in a lot of things. So like again, making that a practice, keep reading that horoscope every morning, yeah. and you could be spending that time reading your word. Or let's just say, let's not even try to get into the Christian aspect. More so, you could spend every morning maybe exercising. Spending every morning on um, reading a book, you will see that your your the way that you think about things will change. The way you behave, the way you look will change because of mm-hmm. what you've been practicing. But sure. think about this as well, man. Like, okay, the zodiac sign reading, you know, your horoscope in the morning thing, right? Uh, if something negative happened, your whole morning, your whole day is shattered. Exactly. Right? Right. You gave yeah. it so it's much done. power. Like, man, yeah. now you messed me up. I got to start over again tomorrow, yeah. right? Whereas, like, you know, when I read the Bible and I, 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 you know, you dig into the word of God, it's like, you know, God, God love renews every morning. It renews every day, every hour, every minute, every second. Yeah. You know what I mean? If something goes wrong, I could go and say, Lord, you know, repair me. Right. Mm-hmm. Lord, heal me. And instantly, yes. instantly, bro. Like, so I don't know why I would believe in something that that holds me down for a whole day. 
a day. You know, you're talking about day. a day. I'm talking people about like it, a lifestyle really? because people make it there's some, their God. Yes, there's something that yeah. um Isaiah said. It says they cannot even save themselves. Talking about the you know the the um astrologist people, right? Yeah. So I was thinking because it's like when I watch movies or documentary, anything about stuff like this, usually the there's people, it's not only about a day, there's people, it's like their whole life, their, whole, life to to it. It, their yeah. whole life to it. And then it's like, why are you listening to somebody that cannot even help themselves? Like, why are you going to somebody to predict your life when they can't even predict their own? They don't even know when they're going to die, right? Here's the question. <laughs> now, knowing that, mm-hmm. knowing that somebody devote their lives to a lie, right? How many Christians, how many of us mm-hmm. are introducing Christ to a person like that? True. I can say I ain't one of them. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna even go I lie. Have, I have, actually. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I, I have, haven't really met people. I had a friend. Um, God's still working on me. And she, <laughs> and she was really into all that, all the crystals of this or that. I'm not gonna hold you like to me, they were just pretty rocks. They were just pretty colors. I was like, ooh, I want this rock just because it looked look nice. Yeah. That's it. Like, it was no, it wasn't, I wasn't praying to it or none of that. Like, it was just a cute rock, you know, like whatever. And she was just really into it. And it was like a, like everything that she did, it was, oh, well, this person's a this, this person's a that. And my rocks, I need to cleanse them, my energy, aura, da, 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 all this stuff. And it's like, that's all cool and good and dandy and stuff. But it's like, in your bible like you know like i'd invite her to church and i'd be like hey like you want to like come whatever and she's like no i don't believe in that and i'm like okay like so why do you believe in in that like what about that is so that draws you yeah, yeah. So, and- there's something i say it doesn't apply to this mm-hmm. like i i you know i, I well <laughs> if you don't believe in something you fall for everything yeah you don't, don't stand, believe in that if you don't stand for something <laughs> right? if you don't stand for something you fall for everything yeah so, like, you need to know yourself, right? And knowing yourself is to know your creator. Like, I, I would challenge anybody to find creation with things that already existed. That's my challenge. That's tough. But with this... With- find creation with things that already existed. Because to me, it's like this. God creates Mm man-made. God creates. Creation is, when you think about creating, is forming something out of nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Right? There was nothing before the beginning. God create. Right? And we were able to make. Mm -hmm. So if you think about God, he is beyond space, time, matter. Mm -hmm. Right? So why believe in things? That's what idol worship, you know, comes in. I think these things fall into idol worship as well. It can. Right? Where does that rock came from? Right? And who deemed it, you know, a secret? Who deemed it holy? Who deemed it like, you know, uh, 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 the good vibe? A genie, (laughs) right? (laughs) Like, it's like a genie in a bottle, right? Like, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and rub the lamp. Genie's going to come out. I'm going to make my three wishes. Right? We'd be quick to to believe in those things Mm -hmm. than to believe in the creator of the world. You know, I was going to say something about that when you said she said, you know, she worshipped the, you know, the works and stuff like that. It just reminded me, like, what was the purpose of Jesus coming to die for us? If to set us free, for us to not be slavery. But then then you find people that's so like they're so into it they are like slavery they're so they're like a slave to those things yeah. they cannot do nothing you know and it just made me think there's people i was talking to um i met this girl i think mommy i don't remember where but we were talking and then she was saying she had this thing on her hand mm-hmm. like i think it's part of her um belief in whatever practice she said she never be moving like a bracelet yes i love that joint was dirty <laughs> I know it was dirty, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. Yeah, so, and I look at it, I'm like, it looks like to me, if I had something like this in my hand, 
I'm like, it felt like somebody's just had me in chain and I, I cannot do nothing. I'm like, how do you breathe in this thing? Oh yeah, I cannot remove it. I have to go like a certain number of years. They, I have to go. If it's too small, they have to remove it right there and put a new one. And, I, and it, it made me think, and I'm like, I'm reflecting on my life. I'm like, I'm yes, grateful. Like That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm grateful that Jesus come and die because he said, I come to set you guys free. Free from the spirit, free from that. The soul is set free. <laughs> it is free indeed. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, they are slavery. They are like slaves to things like this. And it just ruined their whole life. It's just like they think differently. They feel like that's why it brought me back to the same thing like you're not really following God's purpose. No. And some of it is a trap as well. Because I remember back in my days when I was in high school. Oh, okay. All right. I'll wait for it. I'll wait for it. I was Not thinking too much. I'll wait for it. In high school, the 1920s. Back when I was in high school. In a long time ago. In a long time ago. I had this friend, right? Um, he was a ball player, and the man was, he was a, a prospect, right? Like, because he was really good. So he had this girlfriend, and she used to wear a wristband. Mm. Mm. Right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> She used to wear a wristband. Mm -hmm. And one day he came to me. He's like, hey, Sam, I have a problem. I'm like, yo, what's up? He said, well, my girlfriend said, you know, like I was playing around with her. And then she had a, you know, a rubber band. Like literally it was a rubber band. And she said, if I break it, then I have to have sex with her. Oh. And stuff like that. Wow. Right? What? So I said, bro, it's <laughs> what? a trap. She said, <laughs> if you don't have sex with me, then it's bad luck. You know, then, you know, your career is not going to go well. Then da -da 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 -da. I'm that's, like, that bro, don't make no sense. it's a trap. Don't fall for it. And the man was, he was known. He was athletic. He was, you know, being watched by like, you know, uh, 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 Scouts. he was being recruited yeah. literally, man. And since she knew all that, so I'm like, it's a trap, man. But he was so scared so he for did. his life. Tiny. You're going to have to find him. <laughs> And ask, him, and ask him, did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because like they believe those things. And if you believe it, then you fall for it. Yeah. And sometimes people end up trapping you because you don't know no better. I mean, you know, it's like I, 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 I advise everybody to find, as a Christian, find God, find Jesus. Amen. Read your Bible, man. Because that's really the standard. That's really like your 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 that's that's safety. That's where you should reside in. Cause if you have nothing that you believe or deem that is right or wrong, you'll fall for everything. It's not even like falls, more so like you're so you're, it's so much easier to 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 be scared. Of something that somebody else said, and you're just vulnerable. Exactly, like you, you, you so leave yourself vulnerable. vulnerable. You leave yourself like, yeah. like open, and bare yeah. naked in the middle of war. Yeah, like because mind you, like especially like um, the Bible says, you know, our fight is not against flesh, flesh and blood, and blood. flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. You know, so meaning like there is a war going out there spiritually. Speak as we speak today, you know, spirits are fighting. And there's evil spirits that's coming to, to attack us every day. So, like, I advise anybody out there, dog, read your Bible, find Jesus, find God. Because if you do not, you will literally find yourself in, in, in similar situations where you're going to be scared because somebody said this over that. But as Christians, who has the final say and who has that power to tell you who you are is the creator, which is God. And God yes. tells you, you are fearfully, wonderfully made. You will be the head, not the tail. Of course, seek him and seek him and seek him in his righteousness and all things shall be added. Like this is a God that's telling you who your identity is and what your future will be. If you, if you do not have him like that, you will literally let anything and anyone tell you who you are and tell well, you what your life is. A sign. Yeah. But so I wanted, be mindful, man. Yes. I wanted to add it when you were talking, cause I was thinking, I'm like, the only person that know the plan that he have for you is God. If you go back to yeah. you know, Jeremiah yeah, not even your parents know. Parents know. And, and he said, those plan is to prosper you, not yeah. to harm you. So meaning somebody cannot come and say, oh, if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen to you. We're going to have I rebuke bad you. luck. You know, <laughs> I know this job. <laughs> Rebuke it. <laughs> What's on you again? <laughs> Rebuke it, y'all boy. I did that. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like if God know the plans already, so do not let anybody come and tell you who you are. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not let anybody tell you the plan, like, oh, you're gonna do this. Like, there's a lot of people that go and pay money. You pay money when the Bible is so they free. Can read their poem. <laughs> they, they can't read their so poem. Oh, free, man. Free. crazy. I think, I think another thing is just like a lack of faith because, like, it's something tangible. You know, like, you have mm-hmm. the rock in your hand, you're like, okay, the rock can do this. You have whatever like you can you can every morning you can wake up and you see a physical object and it's it's i feel like it's easier to believe in that or to to whatever but it's like you know you read the bible and it's like yes the bible is the word but it's like there's more room for doubt i guess you could be like well i don't see god so how do i know he's there jesus but said you're that like, to the disciples. i see the i see the rock the rock is there i believe the rock jesus you said know? that to the disciples mm-hmm. he said because you have seen me you have believed mm-hmm but the second part of that verse says, blessed are those who have not seen it yet. And yet still believe. Still believe. So I'll believe regardless. Of course. You know what I mean? And to the people that believe in their zodiac signs and uh, the horoscope and Get out. Uh, reading uh, the rocks. Save um, yourself. I, I can't, I can't, because I don't, I'm not knowledgeable. I'm not in depth with, you know, the whole aspect of the zodiac sign. Like, there's not much I can say to you, but to the Christians who believe in the zodiac signs, job, who believe in the horoscopes, who believe in all these nonsense, the Christians, I'm talking to the Christians, right? Um, shame on you. Shame on you because like the, the, the God of the universe, the creator of this universe says that he knows you by name and you read it right and he said he has a great plan for you to prosper you and not to harm you to give you a hope in a future you know that because you read it he said he knits you together in your mother's womb you know and god has all these things you know you know he have all these things laid out for you right and you're believing and something other than his words shame on you i would say turn back right and start reading your bible to know what god plans is for you right and what god plan is period yeah. right and start turning your life around now right because we cannot be in church we cannot be christians we cannot claim to believe in god and believe in all these things in the world as well like we have to be set apart and, and pray for discernment. Pray for discernment. Most definitely. Pray to be able to see something and be like, "That's not of God. That's not. That's not the play. That's, that's not, not what it from is." Him. Like you don't need to see something because everybody else is like, "Yeah, like I believe this. This is true. Whatever, whatever." No, read your Bible. Does God agree? If like, no, you got it, 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 like it is what it, it is. is what it is. It yeah. is what it is. So, um, if you have any comments, <laughs> <laughs> probably a lot. We'll, 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 we'll tap into that too. Trust okay. <laughs> Trust Send and believe them. it. Send them. Send them in. If y'all want to argue, that's fine. I'll tussle with y'all in the comments. <laughs> oh, tussle. You heard it. They you heard tussle. It. Tussle. <laughs> tussle. <laughs> All right. So, this was another take of tap to tap to tap. Tap in. Let's ride.